everyone, this is Caroline from So Can She, and I just wanted to show you these adorable little Petty Four baskets that I made this week. First, I thought I was going to use them this holiday season and fill them with little treats for like teacher gifts and sister gifts, but they're so cute. I wanna keep them for organizing my sewing room. I will leave a link in the space below to a blog post where I share more information about these and where you can go to get that free pattern on the buyannie.com website. But I just wanted to share with you a few tips and tricks that I learned while I made these. I had some leftover foam stabilizer, the soft and stable, which is what Annie uses for almost all of her patterns. And this pattern also uses 10 inch squares, such as layer cake squares. Annie's pattern is very well written and very easy to sew. All the instructions are awesome. So these are just some optional little things that I wanted to add. The first thing is, is that when you are sewing around the top edge of the basket when you're attaching the lining, when everything is still inside out, she encourages you to take the table off your sewing machine and use the free arm. But when I tried that, my free arm is the space between the needle and the end of the free arm was still way too much and I couldn't get the basket under there like this to sew. So what I did instead is I just turned my basket inside out and I stitched on the inside of the basket just like this right here so that I wouldn't have to worry about using a free arm. And then for the last step before the basket is done or before you so your lining closed. Um, that step is to stitch in the ditch right around here, which makes this really cute faux binding effect. And again, she suggests that you put this on the free arm of your sewing machine and stitch in the ditch here, but I couldn't do that. So once more, what I did was I turned it inside out, just like this, and then I stitched right here. And so by stitching right here, stitching the ditch the same place, but just with your, with my basket inside out, I was able to do that easily and I didn't have to worry about using the free arm. Now, one last thing. One of my pet peeves is baskets and bags that have baggy linings. And this, the lining is not quilted to the outside of the basket. So this might have a little bit of a baggy lining. So what I did was Again, I turned my little baskets before they were done. I turned them inside out and I stitched right there. I stitched right there along the seam at the bottom of the basket. Not entirely along the seam, just for about two inches. And then it caught the lining at the bottom. And I had bobbin thread that matches my lining because the seam here on the lining didn't Kept line up exactly and get caught when I was sewing the seam on the bottom of the basket. But it really doesn't look bad. You can hardly tell because I matched the color of my bobbin thread. I actually did that on all three baskets. Of course, when they're filled with stuff, you're not gonna notice if the lining is baggy. That's just me, I'm a little bit picky. But anyway, I hope you give this free pattern a try. These baskets are totally adorable. Thanks so much for watching this little tips and tricks and review video. I hope you give Annie's pattern a try. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe so I can continue to bring you all my sewing tips and tricks and everything I know. So have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Happy sewing!